Hey guys, Pete with you here. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all taking care of each other, staying safe, being cool as could be. All right, well today I am up in Cecil County, which is uh, Conowingo, where I am right now. And I'm gonna check out this area that I've never been to before, but have passed many times. And we're gonna check this out together. So are you ready? Let's go do it. So I'm walking through the parking lot right now. This is uh, Shoresville Landing and Fisherman's Park, which is just below Port Deposit, which is uh, right behind me back there on the other side of the Susquehanna. We're gonna check out some really cool things. I mean, some really cool things. So there are vultures up around here and look there's a sign that even says vultures may cause damage to vehicles park at your own risk and i did park down there and i did see some vultures on the corner over here i'll have to see if they're still there when i walk back but they were uh in a massive group hanging out on this pretty day it is a little chilly it's in the upper 40s but look at that blue skies and look at the Susquehanna so check this out guys that is the Conowingo Dam right there it's a hydroelectric dam and it was a uh, completed in 1928. Construction started in 1926 and was completed in 1928. And yes, it produces electricity. And I've been over that dam many times and you'll see that in some of my vlogs when I've crossed over to get to either Port Deposit or someplace up north that way. But that is cool. I've never seen this view of the dam before and it is just amazing you can see there are a lot of people out today it is a beautiful day chilly but beautiful very nice these people right there with the very nice cameras are taking pictures of a bald eagle that they spotted and I see it too and I'm gonna see if I can zoom in on it with my camera phone so you guys can see it and it's right there just sitting there Pretty cool. There are a lot of bald eagles up around here, and that's why photographers come to capture the moment. Some might be flying over the Susquehanna. I don't see any right now, but there are more people down that way looking for eagles. So, right up there in that tree, right there. That is an eagle's nest. And sitting on top of it is an eagle. Pretty cool. Well, I guess uh, I'm not moving fast enough to get my speed. You can see lots more people up here. And we're going to go check out the view that they're looking at because it looks incredible and we love incredible so we're walking up here you can see a lot of uh, people with uh, cameras up here too trying to capture a moment a lot of people are out this is great look some are even having a little picnic Hi there. Now 
Now that island over there, that's Roland Island. It's right in the middle. Right in the middle of the Susquehanna. And there's other little islands down there, but this I think is one of the bigger ones right here. Again, that's Roland Island. And you can see the power lines that go up. Come over this way. Moving right over here. There's a good shot of the dam. See the water gushing through. What a sight to see. And again, a lot of people are capturing the moment. So this is the gate. This is as far as we can go right now. Look at that. That is incredible. Again, construction started in 1926 and was completed in 1928. Look, they got a um, area down here. It's closed now, but where you, people, I guess, could walk down to, get a really nice view. People even brought their dogs. There's another one there. Very cool. That guy right there, man, he's got a wagon full of camera equipment. He is set and ready. Look at all these people. And I think, is that an eagle? Yes. There's another one right there. There's an eagle. Here it comes. This eagle is putting on a show for everybody. It's just and all these people. Are capturing. Are trying to get a picture. It's got to be hard. Again, just another look at all the people up here. Many with really expensive cameras waiting to capture a good shot of a bald eagle flying around which I imagine has to be pretty tough with cameras like that though you can't go wrong can you? So we're going to head back down this way as all these uh, people behind me up here try to capture a bald eagle in motion. And I think I got a little bit of it flying around. We'll see when I go to edit. But uh, very cool to see though. What a sight. Bald eagles up around here. But there's also vultures. Haven't seen one yet, but I, I think there are some down here near where I parked, just kind of hanging out, you know, as a gang, waiting for their moment. No one's taking pictures of them, but 
I think I'll take some pictures of them if I see them. After all, they're vultures. There are some right there. Some big black vultures. They're just scoping out the area. Hanging in that tree. So as you can see right here, they have a place where you can launch your boat. Although it is closed today, but you can bring your boat down that way or that way and launch it right here into the beautiful Susquehanna River. And again, that island right over there, that's Roland Island. It's a pretty big island. And there's another one down there. I'm not sure what the name of that one is right there. It's a smaller one. This was pretty cool. If you get a flat tire, look, you can fix it right here. Your bike or car, even if you need air. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna get a little daring now. When I say daring, you're gonna see why. And that's the reason why right there. There is a gang of vultures right here. I'm not gonna get too close. I don't wanna freak them out. Have them attack cars. Or recreate a scene in the movie The Birds. But here they are. There are your vultures. Just sitting and hanging out. There's one right here just chilling. Of course, when they hear a car, they get a little startled. Or maybe they get excited. Then again, it appears they like to damage cars. There's a couple up in the tree right here. But they're just hanging out on the corner. Maybe they're just welcoming people. Like, hey, we're vultures. And there's some even flying up there. There's another look at the vultures and people when they, uh, exit they stop and look and check them out I think they like attention there's a gentleman over there also checking them out well they're not bald eagles but they're cool vultures all right guys so now we're going to check out this trail here walk down a little bit check out the sights see right here there's part of a railroad track right there so there was a railroad running through here at some point a very long time ago and they've got an information board right here about the Conowingo Dam and there's a map right there we're gonna walk down this trail a little bit right here. No alcoholic beverages and fires are prohibited. And of course, pets must be on a leash. And I did see a lot of people out with their doggies today. Look, there's uh, more of that train track that went down. And here's information about the fish that are in the Susquehanna River. And it's an old picture of a guy fishing. And you can see the dam in the background. Pretty cool. You can see that this trail goes down pretty far. And it actually goes to Susquehanna State Park, which I vlogged last year. Now, we're not going to walk all the way down there because it is a big of a hike. But we're gonna walk in a little bit so I can show you guys 
some of the sights and sounds. Oh look, it's a dachshund. There's some more of that train track. And it does run all the way down through Susquehanna State Park. And I saw some of that track down there too. Oh, well, let's check this out here. Steps to get down and close to the Susquehanna. That's what we are going to do. Because that's what I do. I get as close as possible. And there you go. Look at this view. There's the dam way up there. Right there. The sign over there, I can't read it. I'll have to go down a little further and zoom in. But it looks like some type of warning sign. Well, what about this view? Look at that. That's amazing. I tell you guys. I live for doing this stuff. I really do. I love it. I enjoy getting out. I enjoy seeing sunshine. I enjoy seeing things I've never seen before. And I enjoy sharing them with you. So thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'm walking. There's the Susquehanna to my left. And to my right, it's just a massive huge hill so we're continuing down this trail here following the old train tracks as well alongside of the Susquehanna and you can see people are out doing the same thing just enjoying the day now I just think it's so cool seeing these old railroad tracks it's still here well, what's left of them anyway. There's some people down there fishing. And there's a look at that smaller island there. Looks like it's got a, a stone wall around it. It's pretty cool. So this gentleman up here, he's uh, taking a photograph of something. Have to see what that is. All right, so now we're zooming in on an eagle in a tree. There it is. How per that is really cool. It is just sitting there. Oh, now it's taking off. <laughs> that was cool. Wasn't that cool? Nope. Well, it would have been more cool if I would have gotten in that shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thumbs up on that. We got to see an eagle. Yeah. So today just happens to be the first day of spring. Hallelujah, spring is here. Now one thing that I like about the winter time is that you can see more because there's not a lot of green and leaves, shrubs, things like that, but you can see a lot more in the winter time. But hey, I look forward to seeing a lot of greenery and that will be coming very soon. So apparently there's another eagle spotting and it's up in that tree. Now the sun's up there too. I'm going to see if I can get a decent shot. So there it is. There's the eagle right there. And looky, way up high above, there's a jet. The 
look at that eagle. There you go. It's pretty cool. Well, hey, that was cool. We got to see another eagle. Another thumbs up on that. All right. So it appears there's another eagle sighting because I see people looking up in the trees over here. So there must be an eagle. And there's another eagle just sitting up there in the tree. Chilling out on this first day of spring. Here's a view of the trail that I came down. And you can see, that's the way I'm heading. It's hard to see through the trees, but right down there is the Thomas J. Hatem Memorial Bridge, right there. And I'll zoom out so you can see how far that is, but that crosses the Susquehanna and that's 95 going north. You can kind of see how far it came already. That smaller island is way back there. So, just enjoying the walk, the hike, and the sights. It's really cool seeing eagles. Here's a better view of the bridge. You can see it way down there. Now I always take the back way coming up because I like back roads, scenery. So I will take a highway once in a while, but I prefer the back roads. Because you never know what you're going to see going through a, a back road. Here, get the train tracks kind of fell apart right here. But can you imagine back in the day, train going through right alongside the Susquehanna? Very, very cool. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, a couple of joggers or people walking fast listening to uh, the Eye of the Tiger. That should get them motivated to move, huh? Well, as of right now, it looks like it's just me on this hiking trail. No other souls around. So I'm going to walk down a little more. I feel like I've uh, walked quite a bit. It's hard to tell. But way back there is the dam. So we'll go down here a little further. I really like walking and hiking, getting out on a beautiful day like today. It is just, it just, it's like a natural high. It's the only way I can explain it. And I love it. So I get out as much as I can. Now that it's gonna get warmer, I'm gonna be getting out a lot more often and checking out places like this. Interesting places to bring them right to you. So I came upon this sign here, this information sign about bald eagles. And you can see that during the 20th century, the bald eagle populations declined due to shootings, habitat loss, and pollution. But today, the Susquehanna River serves as one of Maryland's major concentration areas for the bald eagle. And eagles are attracted to the river by the abundance of fish upon which they feed. And as many as 250 eagles have been counted along the Susquehanna River and at Aberdeen Proving Ground during the winter with lesser numbers during other seasons. So it is the first day of spring, but I did see a few, as many others did when they came here and took some photographs. So that was very cool. So I decided to stop at this picnic table that I found here. That's right before that 
wooden trail right there. And have a power bar and some water just to take a little breather. Got a long walk back too, but I'm still gonna go down there a little bit and show you guys what's down there very, very soon. But man, this, this power bar is good. It's uh, a peanut butter and jelly fit crunch. There you go. Good. It's the only thing I had today. Excuse me. Don't mean to talk with my mouth full, but besides a banana, this is it. We are back in action. So, no horses allowed down here. Look, we have a boardwalk. And a little bit of a swampy area there. Yeah, it said swampy. So it appears that this uh, boardwalk does end right here. I'm just thinking maybe they put it across because it's maybe it gets a little muddy and gushy here. But yep, here's where it ends. You can see how far I came. Alright, so I'm just going to go down here a little bit further before I start heading back. just want to show you guys one other thing, another view, kind of impressive view, if you will. So here's that view I was telling you guys about, right here. Got a clear area without any trees being in the way, but again, There's the bridge, and right over there, you can see some of Port Deposit. There it is. That's just some of it. Now, I did, Susquehanna State Park is down here on the right, and I did a vlog on that last year. You can find it under BP13 on my channel. That's Beetle Pete. 13 so if you want to check out that vlog I went to the Susquehanna State Park last year checked out a few things it was very cool there's an old mill there and I also did one on port deposit too but yeah what a nice view from here so I'm starting to work my way back up to the parking lot and I've been passing a lot of people and what I really enjoy is that each and every one of them said hi hello how are you beautiful day and it's just so nice to have that interaction people being nice and I encourage that be nice to each other show some love that's what I say but yeah I really really like that a lot people being friendly they're outside it's a beautiful day nice day for a walk check out things like I'm doing up here Susquehanna River and the Conowingo Dam seeing all the Eagles so much fun I really enjoy it and I'm hoping you're enjoying watching this too as I was walking back, I saw an eagle fly into or on this branch. And there he is. And there's another one just over here. Maybe it's his buddy right in there. Let's see. Right there. Let's go back to this one. I got a better view of him. There he is. I've never seen this many eagles in all my life in a single day. So this is really cool. You notice that there are some people out there on little boats. Looks like they're doing some 
some fishing. All right, guys, this looks like a perfect spot to end today's vlog. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all. I appreciate it. Appreciate you all. Thank you so much. And I also want to thank the new subscribers that came on since the last vlog. Thank you so much. Plenty of more adventures coming very soon. Hey, it's the first day of spring. I mean, that's like a door opening up to nice weather and just a lot of adventures. So I promise you, plenty more coming up very soon, especially now that it's getting warmer. So thanks again for watching. Hey, please like, share, and subscribe. And, you know, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I appreciate that so much. I really do. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, stay safe, take care of each other, be good to each other. And when you're able to, and you're not wearing a mask, give a smile when you walk by someone. Hey, it's contagious. All right, so I'll see you on the next one. Until then, this is Pete saying, see you later. Peace.